Om here welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'll be showing you how you can use QR codes in your app how you can generate QR codes in your app so basically let's start by heading on to the package so all you need to do is just go to pub.dev and in here type of QR code and select this QR underscore flutter and open this so when you open this we are just going to install this by copying the dependencies head back to the pub spec yaml paste it right here now click on pub get and the process is finished with exit code 0 it means it has been successfully done so click on get dependencies and now the next step would be to go back to the documentation and in here just copy out the flutter import statement okay that's it now i'm just going to begin with an empty app which basically is running my app in the void main and now i'm going to create a stateless widget which i'm going to be calling it as my app and here i'm going to return a material app and here in the home i'm going to return scaffold well and in this in the body i'm going to return a container widget let's save and check if it's running properly yeah it's running properly so let's head back to the documentation and click on read me okay so for this purpose i'm just going to copy an example code which is available right inside this so just type out child and paste this code and now if i save this okay it has some issues yeah they, it has double comma so now if i save this i'm gonna yeah like i'm gonna have a qr code right here um this is basically the base code you can say to get a qr code on your app now if now you can change the data right from here you can type out any data that you want and it will basically load this thing in your qr code like that and this is the version name which we have set to auto so it will basically get the highest version this is the size we can tamper with the size like this now it will become a little bigger like that and that's that's it now you can pretty much end this video right here if you have got a um, zest of how this package really works if not you can watch the video ahead now i'm going to go a little deeper tapping into the properties of this package we've got the version which we had seen earlier in the video we've got this error correction level this is just a value defined on er error correction level okay so this is the size we have seen this earlier this is the padding which surrounds the qr code padding which is nothing but the space you can say this is the background color property this is the foreground color co property this is the capless which basically is set to default true this is the error state builder if it gets any error in building the qr code it will you can check from here okay then the constraints error bounds and then finally we have the embedded image so basically what we're going to do in this embedded image let's try out this feature of this package so head back to the android studio and what we're going to do is we're going to just click on embed image and in here we're going to pick a network image network image okay so here we're going to i'm just going to choose this for an example image so click on the image and copy image address and just paste it right here click on save and basically you can get the horse picture right inside at the center of your QR code okay now let's try to change the foreground color and the background color okay so I'm gonna set my background color to let's say orange 
and the foreground color to let's say white save it and run it and there you can see it okay so i'm just gonna center this so that it looks kind of good okay so as you can see we've got a horse image we have changed the foreground color we have changed the background color we have embedded an image we have tapped into the size property we've got into the version property the data property and i guess that's pretty much it which is the whole and soul of this package hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome flutter videos